Yeah, he kicks the post. Ball wide. And does Hitchin, who is beating him for speed. Hardy's there as well. Tinson loses out. Ball across. Oh, oh, it's in the goal. What on earth happened? What a mix-up. Comedy of errors. Trundle it is. Nails it in the bottom left-hand corner past Wilson. Accepts applauds from the crowd. One all. Start the second half. Atlasfield. Priest under pressure. Plays it back. Finds Tinson. Gets it wide to Hitchin. Hitchin looks for support. Gets it inside. On to Whitaker. Whitaker breaks towards the box. Plays inside to Tipton. Tipton drives. Oh, well. Bottom right hand corner. Past the outstretched hand of Dibble. That's a good one for Tipton. Macclesfield back in the lead. Two goals to one. Tinson, the captain there. He's happy. Tipton punches the air. Pat on the back from Priest. Wilson again with a kick. Gets it long beyond the halfway line, flipped on by Lightbourne into the path of Tipton. Bit of a push there. Has a shot. Oh, yeah, well, Dibble did very well there. He got the bulk of his body onto it. And it just bounced over the bar. Corner coming in. Adams makes a run into the box. Flipped on near post, headed away. Whitaker. Adams left foot. Oh, great save by Dibble. Lightbourne. Oh, it's gone for a corner. Well, again, the big man got down quickly, didn't he? Corner comes in. Dropped in short. Up goes Wilson, punched away. Bicycle kick. Oh, it's against the bar. Whitaker clears. Well, Mattles feel fortunate. Whitaker. Whitaker now bearing down on Wayne Brown. He's twisting. Danny Whitaker inside and out. And the shot goes on to the bar. Danny Whitaker, no Carl Eiborg, still loose with Tipton. Well, what an opportunity for the Siltman. Danny Whitaker had them in knots, and then his effort went above Alex Chamberlain. Tipton, Hardy is still through. Tipton, the former elder player, Matthew Tipton. He scored at Wrexham last week, and he's got an eye for goal today. On their confidence, could yet carry them through for a replay. Because they certainly play. Hayes has proved to be a more than useful replacement. Hayes scoring for the third time since completing his switch from Norwich in December. Macclesfield are one off the bottom of the third division, but left Glanford Park with what could prove to be an invaluable point. Matthew Tipton getting the equaliser. They've increased their lead over Rushton to ten points. Bournemouth stay third, but oh, Macclesfield coming to this game. So important. Position of the ball, 23rd in the division. Adams it is. Backed away by Welch. Tipton makes a run, he's onside. Two defenders in close attendance, gets a shot. Ooh, the goalkeeper's down low, well, isn't he? Good well, great snap shot there from Tipton. Well, she does again. Ball rolled out to him from Wilson. Looking to find somebody, hits it long. Looking for the runners. Tipton gets inside his defender, heads it down. Can he get a shot? Does it? Bursts away. Where's he going? So composed, just side-footed it, left-hand corner, got a deflection, move it again. One goal to know, the lead they need. If there's one match they need the points, it's this one. They've just got to go, they've got to just get themselves up. And Mike fans are happy, they know they've got to get out the bottom. Two. Wilson kicks it away. Headed back forcefully, breaks away, score. With a toe poke. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Well, watch it as he tries to chase it down, but Thorpe just pokes it outside of his right foot. But one goal on. Huntersfield somewhat deflated now. They've got a ball back from here. Still one goal each. Wilson kicks it away, flipped on there by Lightbourne. It's a second chance with a left foot. Breaks to Whitaker. Whitaker over the top. Burst inside the box, it's pulled down. Is it a penalty? It's certainly a free kick. Wiseman's flagging, referee's consulting ball comes over, headed on. Well, perhaps he should have done better. 
A good throw in Chester done by uh, George Abbey. Puts it in low. Got, got uh, controlled by the defender. Across the face of goal. Well, again, I think that was uh, Chris Bruce that. And that should have been better. Still one each. Huntersfield uh, needs something out of this game. One point's not enough. Good tackle there won by Denny. Push forward. Chase down. Out wide here to George Abbey. Stops, controls. Ball over the top. Goes wide ball. Keeper comes up. Pushes it down. Oh, oh, oh gets the bar. Tips it. <laughs> He's the man. The claims are wide. But it is with it. Two goals to walk. That's where they've got the noses in front. And that all came from that snap shot from Lightborn, and he powered it against the bar. But Tipton is the quickest to react. Two goals to one, ball comes in from the corner. Hammered into the roof of the net by Tipton. Goalkeeper should have done better. It's a win up there. Three goals to one, surely Mattersville have got this game in the bag now. Three points. Well done, Tipton. Gets the work balls and the board it's the right ball. Three goals to one. Breaks free. Tipton it is again running. Finds Whitaker. Whitaker has a little dip. Oh, it's just over the bar. Nearly extended the lead there. We begin part two against the backdrop. Field and uh, Berry both have genuine reasons why the points are vital this afternoon for them. Here's Abbey, got the better of the challenge and he's had a go and it was a brave effort. Glyn Garner scurrying across his goal line to make sure that that didn't cause him too many problems. But the confidence to have a go and from distance from George Abbey wasn't going too far off the target. That would have encouraged David Mark. Three goals in his last four games. Matthew Tipton was the man in form for Macclesfield. And he did their survival chances a power of good with the only goal at Oxford. Oxford nil, Macclesfield won. David Moss resists the team. Jilks, Whitaker, he's saved it. Well, well it's Lightbourne's last appearance for Macclesfield today, of course, whether that's anything to do with it. Thirty-three minutes that booking. Well, that's difficult. I mean, they uh, gave him the gave him the chop on Wednesday, and uh, and they play him today. It seems very strange. Anyway, here's Platt. Trouble for Mike. Oh, Wilson couldn't stop. That's a penalty. Munro, it is who's conceded it. Thirty-five minutes gone. Rochdale with the uh, opportunity to put themselves one up. McEvely, who's been a bit of a thorn in Macclesfield's side over the last five minutes, given the opportunity to score it. Up he comes. Wilson, oh, well, it goes straight through Wilson. He almost stopped it, but uh, unfortunately failed to do so. And he's saying, we only stopped for a head injury. I'm sure that's what it's about. Tinson makes the run. Is it a decoy? No, it's gone near post. Should be a goal. Oh, well. McCauley it was with a free header. Plenty of time. I think Tinson uh, was going either for the decoy or the near post. Midfield here, Rochdale. A little bit of shirt tugging as uh, Little wins that ball and finds Miles. Miles finds Little. Come on, Colin. Make it count. Oh, he's failed. Ball still in play. Well. Meet into play there between Miles and Little. Little found himself free. In comes the corner. High and uh, looping. Oh, it's, it's the bar. Griffiths it was. Great uh, effort there. Ball still coming in. It's headed away by a light ball. Patterson. Tinson cuts it out. Finds Adams on the far side. Infield to Little. Quick turn. Finds Priest. What's Priest going to do? There's... On goal! Well, it's an own goal. Think it was Hocknell. Quite threatening last time when Griffiths it was, he got on the end of it. Well, Wilson's dropped it. Well, 
flick turn it was, but uh, referee blew very, very quickly as uh, Wilson was pushed. Unfortunately, little slips over. Crowd are whistling, not sure what this is all about. It's all a bit pointless. Need to get on with the game. McEverly on this near side. Infield to Hocknell. Little one to the feet. Oh, George slips to have a trouble. Well, what can you say? George Abbey slipped. But Hocknell it was who did the drive. And it's finished off by McEverly. Here he come, and who's coming off? Carl Lightbomb, that's his final appearance for Matlas Field. He's given a good hand as he goes off. Two seasons here with Mike. Rather disappointed in his first season. Might easily have left had uh, Hull shown a little more interest in him. And who comes on? But uh, John Askey, Matlas Field favourite. Gets a tremendous reception. He's an icon, really. It's interesting to see what he does. Up he goes to his first touch, gets pushed in the back. It is who hacks it away, hits McEverly, but uh, fortunately it falls to a Mantlesfield player. Little it is, deep in his own half. Finds Chipton, come on Chippy, play it to Miles. Ooh. Play it to Miles! Special experience adds to his total of 150 goals. You couldn't direct this script, could you? Checked in it was he put the shot in. Palm down by Gilks. And who's there to mop it up and put it in? John Askey! Oh, what a finish. What a finish for the man. Jumps into the crowd. Well, 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 well. Little. Come on, Mike. Late flurry. Let's see if we can just get this late winner. Colin Little gets it wide. Tip, tip. Come on, Tippy. Drill it. Yeah! Oh, the late, late show. Matthew Tipton. All oh, right, foot. Well played. Well. Tipton responsible, really, for this uh, late flurry by Macclesfield. Three goals to two at the moment. Set up by uh, Colin Little. He left him with a bit to do. Drilled it hard and low with his right foot to the left-hand side of uh, Gilks. Well... Time, Dave Artell got the ball rolling for the Stags from a seventh-minute corner. Artell's first goal since his move from Rotherham. But it was one apiece with less than a quarter of an hour played when Matthew Tipton's free kick eluded everyone at the other end before nestling in the corner of Kevin Pilkington's net. Junior Mendes nearly restored Mansfield. Gladiators used to be spared even in defeat, providing, of course, that they put up a valiant fight. And up until the weekend, spectators had given Carlisle the thumbs up, despite a lack of victories. On Saturday, though, fans were ready to feed them to the Lions. Despite the best efforts of manager Paul Simpson to rouse some fire in the belly, United offered very little. Macclesfield themselves are battling for survival, and they looked far the hungrier for victory. Silly bookings are bringing suspensions, denying Carlisle regular first-team players on a regular basis. And it was another unnecessary reprimand which led to Macclesfield scoring. An act of petulance, allowing Tipton to take his free kick ten yards closer to Matty Glennon's goal, and United was sunk. The watching four and a half thousand booed and hissed as the pantomime came to a close, and the manager, who kept his men in the dressing room long after the final whistle, had no complaints. And then Danny Whitaker, penalty surely. Oh, well. Beagree. Bit of a cluster around the six yard area. Beagree isn't going to take it. Good kick. Oh, the wall closes it down. Someone's got to get booked for breaking, I think. What a fuss. It's bigger in a council with the other. Bigger it is. Oh, it's a goal. It's a deflection. Well, the fans won't be happy with that. Bigger at the second attempt. Scott Thorpe go ahead. Hunting behind him. Wigrington puts a foot on it. Over the top for Whitaker to chase. Carruthers is there. 
Come on, Martin. Gets around the defender. He's got another in attention. Finds John Miles on the edge of the 18-yard box. Rock and John too. Finds Whitaker. Come on, Danny. Come on, Tippy. Drill it. Oh, good save. Come on. Oh. 37 minutes gone. Macclesfield still losing. Come on, John. Great opportunity for Mac to score. Come on, John. Oh, he's taking it too well. Chooses to just put a ball in. Come on. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, he just got enough on it. Handily, was it to go wild slash at that cross from Beagre? Well, he's quite a big lad, is Evans. I don't know. He must be six foot. Kicks that long. Powerful uh, foot on it. Beagre just. Oh, Monroe's sidestep by McLean. Trouble for Mack. Oh, he's done it. Well. Wilson left helpless, Monroe it was, who was well beaten by McLean, and the finish was par excellence. Come on, John. He gets away. Oh, he's just gone out of play. Oh, he's still running, but he's gone. Come on, Tip Tip! John Miles, the, the scum thought, like myself, I thought that the ball had gone out of play, the flag went up, I'm absolutely sure the flag went up, but it went up for another offence, clearly. I thought it had gone up, gone up because the ball had gone out of play. Super work by Miles. The scum thought defence stood still. He played the ball square to Tipton, and Tipton was alert enough just to, just to chip it over the advancing Tom Evans, Matlesfield, two... Scott Thorpe two. Sparrow infield to bar. I hope he's two one. The manager's last duty is to take his place on the bench. Tipped him with a free kick. Has a pop at goal. He's hit the bar. Well, the goalkeeper was big Nolan's up, I think, now to be fair. Throw in there, George Abbey. Into Carruthers. Carruthers pushes off his defender, looking for support. Lays it back, Widrington. Some width on this from Matlesfield. Danny Adams. Oh, poor clearance from the defender is tipped and turns. Oh, he's buried it. Oh, what a start. Matthew Tipton. Don't they celebrate? Sixth of the season. He's so sharp. Turns, buries it. Goalkeeper, no chance. Matlesfield won. And doesn't John Askey look happy? That's just the start he wanted. They just need to build on this now. 20 minutes gone. Widrington. Little dink forward. Long ball in, heading down Carruthers. Oh, he should have done better. Oh, he's just not onto it at the moment. Long ball forward out of defence by Berry. Oh, Welch just gets a foot on it, bobbles away. Chested down by Carruthers. Finds support in Danny Adams. Little one-two here, Whitaker, great ball for Carruthers. If he can just get onto this, and a drive. Oh, good save by the keeper. Carruthers, unfortunate. Good turn of pace. Gets the body weight right. All through the ball. Goalkeeper sees it early. Oh, the anguish on John Askey's face there. Forward into the feet of Tipton. Quick feet as Tipton. If he can just get round the defender, anything could be on for Battlefield here. Across the six-yard box, oh, Carruthers! Well, that was a penalty. Not bad, really. Two games in a day and two wins. Yeah, it's been a great day. Uh, I'd say it's worth all the, uh, the headaches that you have when you win like that. Uh, yes, it has been a good day. And uh, I hope we have a few more like that. But their manager, Keith Alexander, was critical of his side for their sloppiness. They allowed Macclesfield back into the game for a second time. Again, Tipton was the scorer, making it four goals in the last four games for the number nine. 
Lincoln without striker Marcus Richardson, who's returned to Hartlepool after a very successful loan spell at Sinsel Bank, produced a winning goal in the 90th minute. Quick reactions from Francis Green diverted the ball home. Now the big test. Marriott's huge kick downfield caused plenty of problems for the Macclesfield defence. And eventually the ball dropped onto the reliable left foot of Peter Gain. Macclesfield were again below full strength, although Neil Ross, Neil Robinson and Dave Smith are nearing returns. They drew level on Tuesday thanks to an angled header from Matthew Tipton. Within a minute, though, Lincoln were back in front. Tipton with a half header. And he's got the ball now again. And is he brought down? The referee points to the spot. Macclesfield with a glorious opportunity to take the lead. Tipton looks very calm. Can he dispatch and give Macclesfield turn the lead here in the FA Cup? I can. Matthew Tipton's rich run of form continues. He gives Macclesfield the lead here against Cambridge United. Tipton. Siltman no strike with Tipton's free kick. They have Welch in, mo in motion. And there's Michael Welch onto the bar. The youngster with a flick header. And once again, he's moving to the near post. But it's gone beyond to Little. Colin Little was within a whisker then of giving Macclesfield an early lead. Somehow keeps possession and finds Whitaker, who switched flanks. No John Miles. Sodgy's in front of him, but four weight in the centre, but Miles might just do it all himself. And now he's tilled up, Priest. Still with the silk, Witherington. Feeds Abbey. And now it's down with Tipton. His efforts blocked, still Matthew Tipton. Oh, his seventh goal in ten games. What a run of form from Matthew Tipton. Ten minutes in here and he strikes first blood in this game. Remember, there'll be further punishment because Macclesfield have the ball back. Danny Adams into Danny Whitaker. Oh, what an effort from Whitaker. Only the excellence of Phil Senior keeps it out. Or oh, free header for Sodji. A clear opportunity for the former Siltman. Priest gives her own fouler. And look at the space that's on the far side for John Miles. Can Miles wrap things up? Oh, what a goal! It's the season to be jolly, and John Miles gets Macclesfield second of the afternoon. Clearance is chased by Tipton. Matthew Tipton, surely is fouled. Oh, I nearly didn't matter, but now the referee signal comes and it will be a penalty. A clear spot kick as Matthew Tipton is held up. In fact, it's Nathan Clark who gets sent off the field. Huddersfield reduced to 10 players. Macclesfield turn with an opportunity to put the icing on the Christmas cracker. It's been a festive afternoon, full of fun for them. Tipton against Senior, and Tipton scores! Surely now John Askey has his second league success, and Macclesfield turn season is up and running once more. Tipton has three in the centre, one of them is Priest, 
who scores in the second attempt. It's 4-0 to Macclesfield time. What a way to go into the Christmas period. Macclesfield, Tyner are on fire. Well, Matthew, a fantastic performance from your team. Yeah, excellent, you know, uh, since John's taken over. We Macclesfield Town have a knack of making FA Cup ties go to penalties and this replay will prove to be one of those nights. Colin Little started the proceedings well for the Siltman, his effort tipped over by Marshall. And then Matthew Tipton who scored in the original game should have given them the lead. Before John Miles did do exactly that. He just doesn't do tap-ins, the former crew player, and this girl was one of his best. So far, so good. Q referee. Carl Munro with a nothing challenge. And suddenly the referee sees red and decides that Carl Munro is leaving the field. His second booking, said the referee, who decided that Macclesfield now would be again down to 10 men. And they did ever so well with a man behind until the final minute when Cambridge find their second equaliser in the FA Cup against the Siltman. And it's the same player that did it in the original game, John Turner, in the last minute. Could have been worse for John Askey, as Mark Venus's free kick comes back off the bar. But as the game heads into extra time, Macclesfield know they've got their work cut out. And Cambridge, in the extra time period, start the stronger. They should have had the lead. Again, Turner involved. And a host of other players. Before Macclesfield finally get themselves in front. An excellent passing move from the Siltman, who must have thought they'd won the tie. When the ball's played in, keep an eye open for the nonchalant finish from Matthew Tipton. The Welsh under-21 is in such great form. But so are Cambridge United at creating comebacks. This one, the Peter Andre of all comebacks, as in the final minute of extra... John Ward's side guilty of some seasonal dreaming late on as Macclesfield mounted a revival. Stephen Brackenbridge pulling one back for them. And when Matt Hadrill scored another, it all got a little edgy for Cheltenham, but they survived. It sees Welsh and Monroe forward. Whitaker's looking for Danny Adams. He's headed down, he's put onto the bar by Tipton. Matthew Tipton could have given the Siltman the perfect start. Curtis. Mendes, but it was blocked well by Carmen Rose out wide. Liam Lawrence to the far side to Corden, who creeps him from nowhere. Another counter is there for the Sultan because Day is out of position, and that's why Tipton now is free. Little in the centre for Matthew Tipton, who can't find it, but Colin has the loose ball and sees his effort deflect for a corner. Corden. No, all the way back to Clark. Neat header inside for Liam Lawrence. It goes into the side netting. The nearest that the leading goal scorer has come. Munro. Macclesfield doing their bit to try and win this game. Oh, Munro now all the way back to Wilson. Dangerous ball. Wilson gives up possession. It's with Christie. Or rather, Mendes in the centre is Christie. Another opportunity. Mendes, no to Christie. And the lead now with Mansfield tied. Their 50th league goal of the season. And they just don't want 2003 to end. Priest, plenty of bodies forward. I count five of them waiting for this pass from Carragher. Make that six now. Tipton, one of them. Little was the other, but he couldn't reach the ball. 
Priest fighting and scrapping for possession. Works it to John Miles. Priest with a touch for Colin Little. And somehow it's kept away. Tipton! Oh, Matthew Tipton scores Macclesfield's 350th league goal. In the final minute of 2003. Touch inside from Britain. Duffy's cross towards Thomas. Comes to Trundle. Left footed shot. Lee Trundle. Who else breaks the deadlock at the best field? Trundle holding it up again. Howard finds Robinson. Running out of space there, Robinson. Priest has a good ball through as well for Tipton. Tipton is away. Tipton against Freestone and scores. The Welsh under 21 international levels things up at 1 1. Freestone could do nothing about that one on one. Matthew Tipton, only Rob Earnshaw of Welsh players in the nation one league, has scored more goals than Matthew Tipton this season. Great composure, good finish. His 12th goal of the season, his third in the FA Cup, good control of the through ball on his shoulder, waited his time saw where the keeper was, knew where the net was, and it's 1-1. Quick. On the line for Tipton to chase. Hazel will want that to go out for the goal kick. Well, he's not a free kick in any case. Shove in the back. He's already had a yellow card. And now he's going to get a second. Russell then with the free kick. Driven in towards Gritton. And he's back with a goal. Others challenging way with an important header on the edge of the box just buying his colleagues time to reorganize at the back Terry it is this time who heads clear but Priest was quickest to the ball decent strike my word that would have been some goal Williams leads the counter Edwards in a good position this is a fine chance for Yeovil Edwards ran the goalkeeper but a brilliant block on the line Bez Weatherick it was who got across from left back. That may yet stay in play for Tipton. Pluck had sold himself. Oh, and is that a penalty kick? It is for the challenge on Tipton by Colin Pluck. And it was his mistake initially. He went for the header, thought the ball might go out of play. But Tipton carried on the chase, got round his man. And he's drawn a poor challenge out of the Oval defender. Now Chris Wheel is rated one of the best young goalkeepers around. What can he do here? Nothing at all as Matt Tipton slides the spot kick home and Macclesfield lead by a goal to nil. And Yeovil's slump continues, at least for now. They may do so now. At the other end, Andy Warrington had to stretch his six foot three inch frame to keep out a long range effort from Max Danger Man Matthew Tipton. Oh, I won. Tipton is with Andrews Matthew Tipton. Oh, nearly a splendid goal from Tipton, who hasn't scored for seven games. Looking for Brendan McGill. And this time Munro's back pass is slightly better than Munro's ball was in the air for the keeper to take. Oh, McGill's onside, nothing from the referee or the officials. And Carlisle have the lead from Brendan McGill. The darkness descends upon Macclesfield's football league future here at the Moss Roads. Carlisle have the lead. Carl Munro with the free kick. Macclesfield hoping something will come from this long ball. Tipton manages to keep it in play. But Carlisle should clear with their manager Simpson. He's dispossessed by Abbey. And now here's Matthew Tipton. Has support in the centre if Tipton can find them. There's Potter. Oh yes, Graham Potter's first goal for the club. So vital in their relegation battle.
Parsley. George Abbey in field to Witherington. And the goal scorer, Graham Potter. Parkin down for Tipton. He's kept out by the hands of Lennon. Only one girl in his last seven games for Matthew Tipton. Tipton. Into the area for Parkin. It's now with Danny Whitaker. Just couldn't find the corner. Out to this near side to Potter. Tipton inside. Also, there's Harsley. And Parkin. Parkin though for Paul Harsley. It deflects wide from the man making his home debut. Potter. To the feet of Parkin. Who gets it down for Harsley? Suddenly a distant memory. The Silkman had won only one since Christmas prior to tonight. And got in there in the end. Poor kickoff. Put Swansea once again. Under pressure. Martin has a great chance for Carruthers. And it's a goal. Just what the doctor ordered. As far as McAfee is concerned, it's the Welshman who's got the goal, Matthew Tipton. The Welsh under-21 international from Bangor. Terrible defensive play by Swansea. Carruthers in the clear. And an easy tap-in for the Bangor boy. This will work wonders for the con confidence of Macclesfield Town. One goal to nil. Matthew Tipton the scorer. Five minutes to go then, two half-time. Macclesfield still, one goal to the good. Carr gets the chance to send it forward again. Tate. Sean Bird looks for the target man up front then. Nugent's gone in there. Under pressure. Breaks for Potter, the left back. Okay, you there, Parkin, rather, with a little touch for Priest. Dinking, little pass. Chance for Tipton to get his second. Dwelt in it rather too long, Matthew Tipton. Against the bar, though. There's a hand in there, surely. Referee waiting for an advantage. No, indeed. Had lost the chance early doors. In so much space here. Just prevaricated too long. Then the shot actually came and hit the bar. Carruthers went in there. Well, Tate went in there. He claimed it was a chest. That's across to Britain. Byrne coming up outside him. Too much for the Insta to do on his own in that position, though. A little bit of silly nonsense there between Byrne and Parkin. Totally unnecessary. Referee will deal with it. It's a red card. A red card against Sean Byrne. Swansea's night gets even worse. Well, it certainly was a piece of silliness here. The kick out there by Byrne on Parkin. Potter puts it forward there. The ten men of Swansea under pressure there as Carruthers spreads the ball wide. Chance here for Macclesfield to make it two in the area. Chance of a goal. It's there. It's Paul Harsley, the shoot on sight merchant, in the first half, who gets the goal that surely seals the victory for Macclesfield. There you see the number seven going for the return from Tipton. Poorly done, beating Murphy on his near post. Tipton playing his part in that as well. Didn't seem to be much room there. That's the scorer, Harsley, got it past Murphy. Macclesfield 2, 
Swansea nil. Well, it's a good run from Paul Harsley. Ball falls with Harsley again. Nips it into the area. And will the refs give a penalty? Could you believe it? Two minutes in. And Macclesfield with a penalty. Tipton top scorer with 14 for Macclesfield. Tipton makes it 15. And Macclesfield take the lead. Yates for the good header, force Carruthers. Well, it's just not clicking for Harry's, is it? Paul Harsley with time to turn, cross it in. Carruthers at the far post, and it's 2 0. Well, there was some nice play from Harley on the right-hand side. Unfortunately, couldn't control it as well as he would have liked. And John Parker with a great turn there for the big man. And it'll fall to Carruthers to Parkin. Harley's on the right-hand side. Will Harley shoot? Sets one up. It's an own goal off Scott Stamps. And what a nightmare this is for Harriers. Macclesfield leading 3 0. Only 36 minutes gone, then it's a bad day at the office for Jan Mulby's men. Oh, a bad header from Hatswell. Falls to Parkin. Parkin plays a tip down. Is this 4 0? It could well be, and it is. Tipton apologised the afternoon with his second goal. And it's frankly embarrassing for Kidder and the Harriers. Got ahead of Potter or Parkin. Parkin chests it down. It comes out as far as George Abbey. George has a pop. Oh, well, he almost got a very fortunate deflection off Matthew Tipton. Steve Parkin will be happy with the way things are progressing here. They don't look in any danger of conceding anything at the moment. Rushed out. Although Harsley bursts through from midfield. Finds Potter on this left-hand side. Four runners round the box. He can get the cross in. Here's Chris Priest. There is a goal! Matthew tips in it won. Goal for Potter. And by Harsley. Turn, twist and turn. Pops it in, right footed. Edwards, no chance. 16 minutes gone, one all. Tipton, 14th goal of the season. In, in real terms, a draw is uh, something that probably both teams won't be disappointed with, but the, uh, neither can afford defeat. Most of the other results currently going... Uh... Come on, Parkin. He needs to turn, he's all tangled up. First of all, we did... The goalkeeper did really well there. Never looks the most comfortable of runners, Wilson. Good kick, though. Looking for Parkin. Parkin drills it. Oh! Well, it whizzed past the uh, right-hand post of Neil Edwards. This will be uh, out swinging and probably going long from Harsley. There he goes. He's actually dropped it short. Bertos needs to be alert and is. Finds Townsend, but George Abbey's on him. All over him like a rash. George wins the ball, gets inside. Oh, it looks like a penalty! And it was! George Abbey it was! Put a cross in! And it was there on the hand, number 15. Sean Smith, who this is a judge to him. Sean Smith got in the way. No question that it was a handball. Don't know what Greg Hill's doing here. Five yards away, Tipton comes up and scores! Matthews and take the lead! 36 minutes gone, two goals to one, Matthew 
Egyptian. Great composure. Just strolled up, slid it to the left hand of Edwards. Back inside to Redford. Townsend. Hacked away by Tommy Witherington. Much for the uh, pleasure of the Matlas field. Here's Edwards. He's out of his goal. Come on, drill it. This could be interesting if it's on target. Ooh. There's a whistle. Butler's field has won by two goals to one. There's never a total of 48 points. Leaves Rochdale on 43 points. Rochdale very disappointed. The Matlas field fans obviously very happy. Today? No, I just thought the lads worked excellent. Um, it's been the same for the last month or so. We have had a little bit of a blip against Northampton, but again, we dug in today, and uh, luckily I got the two goals to uh, win us the game. You went in a goal down at half time. I thought a little un 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 unfortunate that. What did uh, Brian Horton say to you at half time? Basically, that's what, that's what he said. He said, you know, we, we were playing all the football. I thought we had a little 20 minute spell where they couldn't get out of their box, never mind their half. And, They've scored, but the character of the team have come out second half and we've given it a good go again. And I don't even think they've had a shot at goal, to be honest, the whole game. And, you know, I thought we were the better team overall. Your first goal, it's uh, typical of the sort of goals that you get where you shrug off your defender and you turn quickly and place it well. I thought you took it very well, yes? Yeah, we, um, I think I've, I've run in for a cross and um, Graham Potter's played it. He's come a little bit behind me, but I've managed to uh, get on the half turn, keep the defender off. And like you say, I've just placed it into the bottom corner. And the penalty, you showed great composure with that. The, 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 the big central defender, Glenn Hill, <coughs> he was uh, having a little word with you about something. The referee was trying to keep him away. What, what sort of things did he say? And what did you think at that time? Just ignored him, basically. He was telling me their keeper was the best keeper at saving penalties in the league. And then I said to him, well, he's going to have a job. I'm the best at taking penalties. It's no pressure for me. One-on-one, -on -one, easiest goal that you'll get, you know. I'll probably miss my next five pens now. But I think it's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. I'm confident of scoring every time. You just, uh, you just stro strolled up to it and just uh, glided in the corner. Was the like keeper went the wrong way. He'd made my job easy. He moved early. I just rolled it into the other corner. And for the rest of the season, we've got, what, four more games? Four more games, yeah. Hopefully kick on, get a few more wins and get a bit further up the t table and uh, hopefully get a few more goals. Family question? The little boy OK? <laughs> yeah, the little boy's brilliant. Yeah. Drops in near post. Flick tops. Coming to the back post to Lewis and it's in. Junior Lewis. 1-0. Mark Joseph, in fact, got it wrong. Mark Joseph. Harsley with the kick. It's going along with this one. Back post, here comes Potter. Towards goal, headed off the line. Looked like the captain. This one will be in swinging. Only tipped it on the line to... Uh, Harsley delivers, goes back post. George Abbey goes up for it with Potter flicked over by George Abbey. Hits the crossbar. Oh! Carruthers has a drive and it hits the rump of number 19, Junior Lewis. Payne with the throw, flicked on near post by Potter. Harsley! Is it going? Oh! How did that not go in? Potter's also around the edge of the six yard box looking for Michael Wells. All over him then was Joseph. Referee let it go. Come on, Tippy! Yes! Oh, baby! Goal number 16. Thrown in by Stevie Payne. Tipped and back post all on his own. Thank you. Good night. My Hill holds his arms up in disgust. No more than Matlesfield deserved. Tipton, the man on fire. Matlesfield won. Hull City won. Dawson jumping up and down. Harsley. Oh, Michael Wells free header. He should have scored. Absolute free header. He'll be thinking about that for a week. Yeah, I mean. It...
Five on the edge of the 18 yard box. Up goes Potter! Oh, what a great opportunity. Should have done better. Used the left foot, probably should have used the right. Great delivery from Parsley. And Potter it was on the end. Parsley with a corner. Arm goes up, going to go long. Up they go. Oh, it's there! Oh, what nil! And it's John Ashton. Oh, dear. It's an own goal, but they all count. As good a centre forward header as you'd like to see. But it's at the wrong end, John. Macclesfield 1, Oxford 0. What a start. <laughs> 18 minutes gone. Macclesfield leading by that own goal. Well done, John Parkin. Lull the defender there. So into a false sense of security. Thought he was just ambling up. Then he suddenly picked the pace up. Here he is again. Can he get the cross? Go for the goal. Oh! Hacked away. Great save by Simon Cox. Parkin knew what he was doing. Potter Welsh Parkin and Tipton on the six yard line. In comes the throw. Oh, Parkin's push. Potter. Oh, Parkin's put it over. Who wants burst in field to hunt and he has a drive and scored. Well, Stevie Wilson was left with no chance there. Ball played square. Hunt just let it drop and then just struck it with a left peg. Well beyond the right hand of Stevie Wilson. One all, 35 minutes gone. And it just goes to show practice makes perfect. Harsley. Up they go. Potter on the thigh. Still Wilson. Tip 10 and the goal! Yeah! Two goals to one. Matthew Tipton, will he claim it? I'm sure he will. But I think it was actually an own goal. Well, if he gets it, it's his 20th of the season. And it breaks the Macclesfield's league scoring record. Lifts him to 17. Breaks the record of. Richie Barker and himself, two goals to one, 43 minutes gone. Munro with a throw, reasonably long throw, Parkin tries to flick it up, oh! Parsley hits the crossbar. That would have been a spectacular goal. Parsley to take it, Potter around the six yard line. Goal! Oh, great save! Michael Welch it was. Got up, flicked it on, Cox went full length, super safe. Goal. Finds Tipton, Tipton to Harsley, he's got Potter in support on the left. Burst forward midfield, he's still running, come on Paul. Finds John Parker.